Hello Bloodborne fans and welcome back to another episode of Methodical Gamer. Today we're taking a look at my Leica Sir build. Let's go ahead and get started. This build is going to be using the Threaded Cane. This is going to be a dexterity scaling weapon. Not top tier, but we'll get that in a second. Right hand weapon is going to be the Repeater Pistol. The reason I chose Repeater Pistol is because you can see in our stats we have a low scaling and blood tint, so the higher DPS will make up for that. The Threaded Cane scaled really well into about 50 skills, so that's where we cap that off at. I mentioned before that the Threaded Cane is not top tier weapon. That is highly due to the fact that it does not have one of the highest DPS's in the game, but it is also still one of the most overlooked weapons in the game due to it having an amazing moveset to catch opponents on both high frames and low frames, and the scaling is really wonderful with this weapon. If DPS is your only issue with the weapon, do what I did here in this clip and add the bolt paper for the 75 extra bolt damage. Alright, before we got too far in the video, I wanted to mention I have a new gaming schedule since I'm starting to play new games like ESO now. And let me tell you, I have just fallen in love with that game, and I might be making some videos for that in the future. But my main point is here, I'm trying to make all my builds live on stream. So I'm going to give a quick plug for my Twitch channel, which is methodical underscore gamer. So if you guys ever just want to watch me make my builds in the process I go through when I run the game, I don't speedrun the game, but I run it relatively fast. So if you guys ever want to watch that, come check me out on Twitch. Um, always have a great time. Always love when you guys come out and watch me. But I just want to throw it in this video because this build was actually made live on Twitch. And a lot of you guys came out and watched it and liked it. Um, and I really haven't made any advertisement for it yet on my channel. Now back to the build. The Threaded Cane, I'm going to say time and time again, the thing that made me fall in love with it or the thing that captured my attention was its moveset. And it's not just its moveset, but it's the mentality of how it teaches you to play this game. A lot of weapons in Bloodborne teach you to R1 spam, like the Saw Cleaver. It has a 4 R1 attack combo and gives you a great multiplier with it. The Threaded Cane doesn't do that, and if you try to R1 spam, it's going to punish you. The Threaded Cane is not the quickest weapon in the game, so what this forces you to do is become more of a reactive type of player. It makes you more observant, and it makes you more strategic in your fights. I read through all of you guys' comments, and something I saw in one of my latest videos was one of you guys were asking, uh, if I could do a video on tips and tricks, and I did respond to that question, um, and I said I wasn't going to do a video directly related to it, but I was going to mention at least one tip or trick per video for you guys to take away. And I want to say thank you for that comment, because each weapon has an associated trick with it. I'm a firm believer that in any Souls game, and yes, in this category I classify Bloodborne as a Souls game, but in any Souls game, knowledge is equal to power. In my tip, I'm actually going to fail in this first clip and succeed in the second, but it's doing a wake-up attack and attacking your opponent on their high frames. So weapons that are a reactive type of weapons are ones that attack on your opponent's high frames. In other words, these are weapons that have slower startup frames and longer active and recovery frames. So my PvP tip is find whatever weapon or build that you're using and try to find at least one weapon within that build if you're using more than one weapon or try to find the moveset in particular that has that type of attack to it. Because the first step in learning something is to analyze it and learn what the problem or the strategic advantage is to it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. So until next time, play smart, keep on winning.